Hello and welcome to Noratforyou.com Hello and welcome, my name is Amir Borstein, welcome to Noratforyou.com and for each by itself.com and today I'm going to review with you the meters, recommended meters, um, EMF meters for 2024 and the first one is the Cornet ED88T uh, um, 5G2 uh, this is the recent model and uh, what's good about it it's a, it's a home use meter for radio frequency low frequency magnetic and low frequency electric it comes with a 9 volt battery um, and it has a very detailed display this detailed display allows me to help you even if you're in a uh, different country um, you simply send me a picture of the measurement and I can see the display and by seeing the display I can know what you what you saw what the meter saw and this is how radiation looks when how radiation looks on the meter you can see the number is changing the uh, histogram is filling and the LED light are lighting are lit a uh, very good meter, very recommended to most people, this is the first meter, it comes with my own uh, written uh, uh, manual, um, which is not so long, and if you, help, if you read it, it will help you get started. Next one is the ENV RD10, it's a small, tiny meter, looks like this, with internal battery, it comes with a charging cable that you can connect to the PC, and then it will be um, charged. Uh, it measures RF, low frequency magnetic and low frequency electric field and it's a LED light uh, meter, there's no numeric display and it just shows you the level of radiation uh, according to the LEDs that are lit. Uh, when, when you turn it on, the first thing it shows, it, it, it's testing the battery and the, the LEDs and how it's working this is how radiation looks on this meter very simple it helps you uh, see what's radiating in your house and what's not where the radiation is coming from find sources, find penetration points but the option of me helping via emails is more limited I have no numeric display, I have no Instagram so I can help but it's not as helpful and informative as the Cornet. The internal battery can last for about seven hours of working straight ahead. Uh, you can charge it offline. It's usually used by people who can't use the or not that don't want to use the Cornet or can't use the Cornet. Uh, and for EHS people who want the this small in VRD10 uh, to be in their pocket, either uh, shirt pocket or uh, pants pocket and the third uh, thing is uh, not a meter it's a detector <laughs> uh, the difference between a meter and a, de a detector is that a meter measure the radiation a detector just detects so in a meter you will get a numeric display or a number of a level of the radiation or a led lights leading up as an indication for the level of the radiation in a detector you just get a there is radiation above a certain threshold or there's no and it's only for RF uh, this model has there's a model with only LED light there's a model with LED light and uh, a speaker and this is the one with the speaker so when there is some radiation it blinks and beeps it has a small internal battery that can last up to three years. Uh, it's pocket size, you can put it in your pocket. This is the, the size just for you to see. Uh, it's smaller than the NVR D10 and it's much smaller than the Cornet, right? More usually used by uh, electromagnetic hypersensitive people. Uh, they are, I have those meters as a alarm systems, those detectors, sorry, as an alarm system on my house, I have it uh, on the door, on the windows, so whenever someone is trying to get in with a uh, cell phone turned on or a smartphone, smartwatch or ear wireless uh, earphones, 
then this beeps and I know that someone that got in is still carrying a working cell phone and I don't want that because I'm an anxious person and my house is clean. I also have it glued to one of my, to, to, to my main uh, router in the house uh, in which the Wi-Fi is turned off. Um, so in case the Wi-Fi for some reason will be turned on, this will beep and I will know that this has happened. So that's all for now. Uh, thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. Minimize the use of smartphones and wireless devices before the use will minimize you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. Thanks for watching and see you next time.